Hey friends, time for another video here. This one is going to probably surprise you a little bit, but uh, I've talked about this before. I've uh, called Jonathan out on using Gnostic you know, websites before um, and actually showed screenshots where he's using Gnostic Warrior and things like that, but then I get his trolls coming on the channel going, hey, you know, he's not a Gnostic, blah, 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 but you know, the, the evidence is clear as it can be. Um, his latest and not so greatest video, Exceeding Joy in the Truth of the Word, Perfection. Um, he's sitting here, he's talking about uh, this link, he says, the Lord sent him to, the Lord led him to. And um, you're going to be surprised to figure out uh, or know exactly wh where this is. Now he's on his site, uh, be the fire four three two one I think, and um, but he's referencing um, this site right here, and this is where he's getting a lot of his messed up data. It's called UFO Holic. UFO Holic. I've got my dark reader on here, but uh, I'll just light it up a bit, to show you. There you go, UFO Holic. Okay, so according to his site of preference, uh, the title of this is Were the Elohim or Shining Ones Creators of Mankind? Where are they now? Okay? But first, I want to hear, I want you to hear uh, something he has to say about this. Alright? So here we go. Because that crazy guy, Jonathan Clegg, that seems a little peculiar, he is. He's a servant of the Most High. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. No way, no how. Glory to God, guys. Anyway, I just want y'all to be as pumped up as I am. Mm -hmm. Because the end is coming. We're getting to go home. You're getting a barbecue. Yeah. That's where you're Our going. Our identity is hidden with Christ in God, L. Mm. Emmanuel. We're fixing the seat. That's our identity. And we're the Elohim. Let me show you one article real quick. I think this is this will be really good for everybody. You see that? He said we're the Elohim. You hear that? We're not the Elohim. But continuing. So I want to show you this article that's in this folder called Elohim. There's that girl that, you know, she calls herself Elohim. She's a uh, musical artist. And I want to I want to show you a really interesting um, link that the Lord let me see. We'll see if it, oh, oh no, it's doing it again. Don't do it. Oh, it did it again. No, this is really bizarre, man. When I'm doing these when I'm doing these videos, sometimes now it's like stopping my show note link. That doesn't matter. I can load them on the page. Anymore. Yeah, these show notes he's spread all over the internet like cancer, leading people in the wrong direction, but continuing. I'll just download it all and just go straight to it. Well, watch this. Let me show you something. See if this, we'll see if this will populate. Here we go. Elohim or Shining Ones. Ready? Now, this is, this is just a site that the Lord led me to when I was... You hear that? The Lord led him to it. The Lord led him to it. Okay. When I was going over this thing, you know, with this uh, Elohim thing, this girl that calls her name Elohim. Wow, look at this. It may, it may not, may not do. I'm gonna see. Here we go. It did it. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. One of the greatest secrets kept from mankind are the true makers of everything we can see and think of called Elohim or Shining Ones. Considered to be the most powerful beings to ever exist, the ones who forge our bodies and soul and breathe the same air with us. Um, this is the tale of the Watchers, an esoteric group of beings mentioned and revered by many cultures, known by many names, the spirits referred to their leaders, El, the king of the gods, ancient Hebrews called them Elohim, and throughout the world the same motif becomes apparent. Hold on. 
Okay, so this is the reason he's on his L kick. L, 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 L all, uh, lately. Okay? So I'm going to take it directly to the site because he cherry picks things off this site. And we're going to go over what this thing says and it's going to blow your mind. Okay, well, you know, I hate to say blow your mind, but uh, it, it, it's going to shock you. Let's put it that way. Okay? So I'm going to have my computer here read this to you. As you guys know, you guys that know me, know my eyes uh, give me a lot of trouble. It's not that long, so just hang with me. Be patient. It's going to be worth it. Okay? In the Bible, we find a reference to the Shining Ones as the Watchers, as appearing to Moses' father in room. And there appeared two men very tall, such as I have never seen on earth. And their faces shone like the sun, and their eyes were like burning lamps, and fire forth from their lips. Their dress had the appearance of feathers. Purple, their wings were brighter than gold, their hands whiter than snow. They stood at the head of my bed and called by my name. Moreover, an ancient Hebrew scripture tells of the birth of Noah, as being a progeny of the Shining Ones. And after some days my son, Methuselah, took a wife from his son Lamech, and she became pregnant by him and bore him a son. And his body was white as snow and red as a rose, the hair of his head as white as wool and his dimdim a long curly hair beautiful, and as for his eyes, when he opened them the whole house glowed like the sun. And his father, Lamech was afraid of him and fled and went to Methuselah his father, and he said to him I have begotten a strange son. He is not like him, <laughs> ordinary human being but he looks like the children of the angels of heaven to me his form is different and he is not like us it does not seem to me that he is of me but of the angels Elohim shining ones alien UFO 5 the Hebrews borrowed the concept of Elohim from the ancient Sumerians Lie. and viewed them as the owners of mankind and its watchers as the famous Masonic historian General Albert Pike noted in Morals and Dogma Freemason Flash watchers were seen as hosts of heaven, traveling between worlds and carrying messages. Their leader, Yahweh Elohim, can be translated as leader of the shining ones. In the testament of Amram uncovered amid the Dead Sea Scrolls, we get a glimpse of what these shining ones looked like once they fell out of grace by seeking pleasure and succumbing to lust towards the daughters of men. I asked them, Who are you, that you are thus empowered over me? They answered me, We have been empowered and rule over all mankind. They said to me, Which of us do you choose to rule you? I raised my eyes and looked. One of them was terrifying in his appearance, like a serpent, his cloak many colored yet very dark. And I looked again, and in his appearance, his visage like a viper, and wearing exceedingly, and all his eyes, I replied to him, This watcher, who is he? He answered me, this watcher, and his three names are Belial and Prince of Darkness and King of Evil. Figures. It is unclear what made the original watchers, the Shining Ones abandon their pet project into the hands of their fallen brethren in reptilian form. <laughs> but the two categories of advanced entities share a common origin as the engineers of mankind. Elohim Shining Ones Alien UFO 7 Feared as the personification of destruction itself, the Shining Serpents established themselves as humanity's new owners. Their influence is present in the mythology of cultures from around the world. The Mesoamerican legend of Votan tells of a powerful serpent being who came across the Great Sea. A watcher himself, Votan was a descendant of the race of Canaan, which is uncomfortably close to Canaan, as suggested by Zelia Nettle in papers of the Peabody Museum. Known as the original serpent priests, these Canaanites are routinely mentioned in conjunction with the Shining Ones and were fervent ministers of the reptilian beings. It is interesting to note that the Mayan word God means serpent, as in Kukul Khan, the feathered serpent. The Sumerian word Akan and the Old Scottish can signify the same concept. The Roman god of fire, Vulcan is a construct of the Babylonian bull, fire, and Khan, serpent, further proof of the reptilian watcher's global influence. Care to try another one? Vatican, perhaps? 
Vadis is the genitive form of VA with Macron TS, meaning seer, or prophet in Latin. Wow. The epicenter of the Christian world, a place of reptilian prophecy. Okay, there you go. There's another page here. I'm not going to bore you with it. But, uh, you know, those of us that have been following this for many, many years kind of can see right through this. So, um, with that, I'm going to share something that is going to expose Mr. Kleck's motives even further. Okay? Okay, so here we have uh, Mike Heiser again, PhD and Hebrew scholar, uh, somebody that I, su uh, you know, I suggest people follow. Uh, but uh, here, this this is a five-minute video clip, but you need to hear this because this is going to prove so many things. You're going to be shocked, all right? And it's going to get into what Kleck's motive is for what doing what he's doing. This is really important. I want you guys to like, share, subscribe. Please listen to this, okay? Because I'm really getting tired of doing these videos. The word needs to get out, and I need to move on. Because there's a lot more false teachers out there besides Clegg. But here we go. We've noticed a particular trend in deliverance ministry and online theological talk about fallen supernatural beings broadly. There's an inordinate erroneous and even in some cases sinister emphasis taking shape on the idea that divine rebels fallen watchers fallen sons of god can be redeemed impossible Believe it or not this sort of talk emerges from survivor programming and the reason is simple but it's, it's pretty profound too fallen divine beings want redemption because they want to be restored to their natural place too just like fallen humans do. But they have been rejected. All the way back to the original rebel, to the inhabitants of the abyss, Genesis 6, to the rejected gods of the nations whose final demise will be at the day of the Lord. Isaiah yep. 34, we've talked about this a lot in the podcast. Fern, Audrey, and Beth believe that this circumstance explains the nature of the deception they see enslaving survivors on a regular basis. If intelligent evil, let's put it this way, if intelligent evil can't be rejoined to the family, if they can't join the family of the redeemed, then they will deceive the redeemed into thinking they are rejected as well. The game plan is to blind the victim to the truth that they were created to be God's imagers, part of his family, participants with him in his plan of restoring Eden, of belonging to God's own family and inner circle, and blind them to all that and blind them to, to, the, to the task. And the task is reflecting God's love to the lost and using their giftedness to accomplish this mission. This is from a different interview of Wright about his, uh, his book on the atonement. And he says, humans are called not just to keep certain moral standards in the present and to enjoy God's presence here and hereafter, but to celebrate, worship, procreate, and take responsibility within the rich, vivid, developing life of creation. I just want to stop right there. Okay, you know, Cleck is constantly talking about procreation as being something bad, some, a vehicle that uh, the fallen angels are using to take over man. I mean, he's, he, he's all over the map. So, um, you know, procreation is something that is ordained and sanctioned by God Almighty. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out. But continuing here. According to Genesis, that is what humans were made for. The diagnosis of the human plight is that not simply that humans have broken God's moral law, offending and insulting the Creator, whose image they bear, though that is true as well, this law-breaking is a symptom of a much more serious disease. Morality is important, but it isn't the whole story. Called to responsibility and authority within and over the creation, humans have turned their vocation upside down 
giving worship and allegiance to forces and powers within creation itself. The name for this is idolatry. The result is slavery and finally death. It isn't just that humans do wrong things and so incur punishment. This is one element of the larger problem, which isn't so much about a punishment that might seem almost arbitrary, perhaps even draconian. It is rather about direct consequences. When we worship and serve forces within the creation, the creation for which we're supposed to be responsible, we hand over our power mm -hmm. to other forces only too happy to usurp our position. Yeah, I'm going to pause it there. Yeah, because the majority of so-called Christians are just totally biblically illiterate, and they fall for these fictional stories and, and twisted doctrines, serpent seed, and, and otherwise, like cult literary clack teaches. Okay, you guys have to study your Bibles. You have to study your Bibles. You cannot allow other people to interpret your Bibles for you. The Bible says the Holy Spirit will teach you. Okay, I'm not saying forsake the fellowship and the assembling with your brothers and sisters. I'm not saying that. But understand that if people are teaching anything that's outside of the written word, they're leading you off the straight and narrow. Okay? you got to get that through your head. And we're really getting tired of going over this. But here we go. We humans have thus, by abrogating our own vocation, handed our power and authority to non-divine and non-human forces, I mean, both of them, which have then run rampant, spoiling human lives, ravaging the beautiful creation, and doing their best to turn, God, to turn God's word into a hell. Yep. And, and again, if you think about this in the, in the framework of imaging, what does it mean to be God's imager? It means you're part of the family. You belong there by definition. It's, right. it's a birthright. Birthright. It's not something earned or merited right. by either works to get saved or, or, or doing spectacular, killer, 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 spiritual, spiritual power things so that God is sort of convinced that you belong here. Okay? It is none of that. This is a birthright. And it's broken you know, by the fall. We, we have to be redeemed. But it, it's, it's being part of the family, and then since you are part of the family, you participate in the mission. And after the fall, part of that mission, a big part of that mission, is taking the truth of the cross and the resurrection to the lost. And in, in Paul's context, you know, the, the Gentile thing, that involves reiterating, continually making the point that because of the resurrection, you know, for, for the Gentile especially, the gods that were installed over you who became corrupt, you now need to abandon them. They are yes. powerless. They have been stripped of authority. Yep. They have been fired. Yep. Okay. Come back home yep. and participate with God to get more of that task done. But when we, when we you know, like, like Wright says, you know, when you start handing that responsibility or, or redefining it. Or, or, or accepting them as your creators like Cleck is pushing, it's insanity. Or changing it into an allegiance, a partnership with an intelligent evil. You've become an idolater. Yeah. One more time. And then in that moment, guys, water and light came down. And I'm here looking at this wall. Water and light came down on me right here in this alley. And I was instantaneously, instantaneously transformed. And I was just, it was unbelievable. Yeah, I bet it was unbelievable. Okay? The guy's deceived. You know, how many of these people, these false prophets, have led people astray? I mean, supposedly had angels uh, appear to them. Um, and teach them some type of a twisted, perverted doctrine. So with that, I'm going to spare you the rest of this video, and uh, I'm going to cut it short. And uh, you know, I hope this has really made an impact with you. 
and woken a lot of people up because if this doesn't show you I mean you you call followers out there following click if this doesn't wake you up and show you the agenda that he's pushing I, I don't think anything will I mean you're just gonna be like a bunch of lemmings and you're following the guy straight to the pit of hell and so with that God bless you and uh, those of you that are subscribers and team members please do me a favor share this support us if you can let other people know that we're out there trying to do this and um, you know with that God bless you love you and I appreciate everything you do for us take care bye now